Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to this collection tutorial from me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B, you're very, very welcome. Handling large numbers of mods and assets is a bit of a struggle in the game as there isn't really an efficient sorting system in the content manager. But don't worry, there is a solution and it's called collections. Now I'm not going to tell you that this is a perfect system, it really isn't. It's cumbersome and slow, but it does work. So why would you want to use collections? Well, let's say you've got two different city builds on the go, one based in New York, the other a small town city build from Central Europe. Each city will need different assets. Now you could subscribe to them all, but then while you're working on New York, you'll have hundreds of unnecessary Napoleonic architectural items eating up your RAM, and collections would be a very good way of saving on RAM. Also, if you've shared an item on the workshop, especially say a map, a collection makes it easy for subscribers to grab everything they need with just one click. Let's say we have a current city build and it needs these three items. First of all, add them to your favorites. It doesn't take very long to do and it makes finding them during the next stage so much easier. Now, go on to browse and choose collections. On the right hand side is a button which says create collection. Click on that. Now, give your collection a name. Choose and upload a branding image from your hard drive and write a quick description so that people will know what the collection is intended for. Hit the checkbox for what type of collection this is. Remember, if you intend this to be a one-click collection, you'll have to choose the top option. Now choose the categories you feel that best suit your collection, then save and continue. On the next page, you'll get to add all the items you want to your collection. There are three tabs, one for items that you yourself have published, one for your favorites, and one for every single item that you've subscribed to, which could be thousands. Lucky for us, we've added our chosen items to our favorites. So let's search through and find the items required. If you're not sure that you found the right item, click details, and this will open up a workshop page in a new window. When you are sure, click the plus button and the item is automatically added. Continue until you've added all of the items, then click save and continue. This will take you to the collection page for the last chance to review everything. If anything is wrong, you can edit this using the owner controls on the right hand side, and you can even remove the entire collection just by hitting delete. When you're absolutely sure everything is in good order, go ahead and hit publish. You can review or change your collection at any point by hovering over your name at the top of the workshop page, choosing content from the drop down menu, and then choose the collections tab. You can even keep the collection private by setting the visibility to hidden. It's a great idea to have a collection containing just the mods that you use, another collection with buildings for each city type, i.e. one for New York and one for Europe, and yet another collection for all the items that you would like to use for detailing, such as your favorite trees, props, and decals. You can even have a collection for themes and another for LUTs and so on. Now, from your main workshop page, on the right hand side, right at the top, there is a drop down menu that says your files. Choose subscribed items. Now, here is the scary part. Hit unsubscribe from all and wait while Steam clears your entire subscriptions list. You now have a clean game. Next, go back to your name at the top of the screen and choose content. Then go to collections again, open up the collections that you want to use and hit the subscribe to all button or just choose the items that you want from those collections. If you have a Steam app, you can look at the update status at the bottom of the screen. Once everything is updated, you can launch your game and only the items in the selected collections will be active. Remember to go into Content Manager and activate everything and you are good to go. And that's it. Like I say, it is a bit cumbersome, but if you remember to add new items to your collection when you first subscribe to them, it's a fairly simple way of keeping control of your subscribed assets. 
and for only having those that you really need active, thus freeing up gigs and gigs of RAM. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget uh, we do a daily map review show, What Map, Monday to Saturday, where we try and find you the right map for your next city build and dozens and dozens and dozens of tutorials. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and of course the notification bell. Thanks for watching anyway. I've been Bon Bon B and you have been very, very welcome.